Hi all, my name is Les Westmark and I'm going to show you how to generate a terrain in World Machine 2 with textures and then import that into Unity. So, let's get started. Firstly, I have this basic setup that opens up every time you open World Machine. And I'm just going to use that for, yeah, to just show it off. So, firstly, I'm going to add a erosion filter. What this does is that it that it uh, erodes the terrain. You can see if I build here, then you can see that it makes all these nice lines and like where the erosion happens down down the mountains. Okay, back to the editor view. So in this height output is where I'm gonna export my height map from World Machine. So you can see right now it's set to export as raw 16-bit to my assets folder. So I'm just gonna write output to this and it says it's been written successfully. Okay. So I'm gonna go to my assets folder and I'm gonna rename this raw so Unity understands it. And I'm gonna open up Unity and here I have a new terrain. Just made it by clicking terrain and create terrain. Okay, so now I'm gonna import the raw file I just saved out. Gonna open this and as you can see the byte orders should be Windows. Let me just import. So now we have our terrain in Unity. Looks cool, but kinda missing some te textures. So, I'm gonna go back into World Machine 2 and I'm gonna make a splat map which defines where to put what kind of textures. So, firstly, I'm gonna make an output for my splat map, a bitmap output. I'm gonna put that there. And I always use this flow map from, from the erosion because it shows the lines where water and st and stuff that has um, gone down the mountains and stuff so I can use that to place mud or something else on the terrain. So I'm gonna go to converter and make a channel combiner. This is useful for combining a red, green and, and blue channel into a bitmap so I'm just gonna connect that up and I'm gonna put the flow map in the red channel and then we'll wanna have some rock on the mountain so I'm gonna use a select slope and double click that and then make it select the upper part I can just connect the height map and then I can see over here in the preview what's going on so I'm, I'm going to go with something like this to mark the the rocky faces of my terrain. And I'm going to just plug that into the green channel. And then I want to add another select slope. And also plug in the height map to that one. This is this is what I'm going to use for for grass, so I'm gonna have a look at what this was set to 0.68, and I'm gonna set this to around the same 0.68, and I'm just gonna make them merge a bit into each other and turn down this fall off, and I'm gonna plug that into the blue channel. So now you can see I have this this image over here. If I build, I can show you uh, a better one of it. Here you can see, so the green is going to be rock, and purple, because it's mixed with the blue, is going to be where my my mud slides down from the mountain. Also, these on, on, on the green parts. And the blue is going to be grass. So, back to the editor view. Now, as you can see, I have uh, a bit of water here, just doesn't do anything in here but but it's just nice to add some water 
to a terrain some sea or lakes or whatever and I'm gonna make a selector for for height so I can make a seabed or sand or whatever and I'm gonna look at my water level now because I kinda liked it you can set that to anything you want and I'm gonna put this to around the same so around there and turn down this fall off and this I can plug into the alpha input of this it cuts off in here but don't worry it's still there all your stuff so I'm gonna use this bitmap output and I'm gonna write a 16-bit PNG and I'm gonna specify to save it in my assets folder and I'm gonna call it splat and save and write output to disk then I can go in back into unity and you'll see I have now have my splat map here so you can see the alpha man map where there's gonna be sand so first thing you wanna do for is change this to advanced and enable read write okay so now I'm gonna use a custom set of tools made for unity by a guy named Tom I suppose it's called Tom's terrain tools and these are awesome for importing a splat map into unity so they don't cost r that much and you can find them on the forum there's a new version for uh, unity free okay so I go to window and terrain tools and then I'm gonna pick my terrain and put it over here and I can pick the splat map and put it over here you can have a second splat map so up to eight textures and yes that's that's fine oh yeah I need to change this compression to RG what did it say RGBA 32 bit So, RGBA 32 bit applies splat maps. Okay, try again. Apply splat. It might be because I haven't added any textures to this yet. So, I'm just going to do that first. So, I'm going to add a texture and choose a. Doesn't really matter, but I know that the first channel was my flow map, so I'm going to go with this muddy grass yeah I'm just gonna click add so now all my terrain is covered in this but I'm just gonna add another texture and that was my rock face check texture channel so I'm just gonna add this cliff layered rock and I'm gonna add a third texture this was my grass texture so I'm just going to use this grass hill and add that one and lastly it was my seabed or sand whatever so I'm just going to use this sand beach okay back to the terrain and the uh, terrain tools I'm gonna put my terrain up here and my splat map in here and click apply splat maps and still it's not working oh. okay this works at least but still it would be nice to have my sand also I'll try one last time okay wasn't happy about that but it should work I've done that a lot of times I just don't know why it doesn't work right now whatever I can see I have well, albeit no sand texture I have a realistically textured terrain in unity okay that's all for now bye